Yo YouTube, what's going on? I'm the Dog Father. Welcome to the Dog Father's Barbecue YouTube channel. Hey, if you're new here and you haven't uh, become part of my subscribers list, make sure you click on that logo down there in the corner and become part of my subscribers. That's what I call the Dog Pound. If you're already a subscriber, you're in the Dog Pound. So, Dog Pound, what's cracking? Let's get into this. So there's a lot of times that you uh, barbecue, man, and you got a lot of leftover brisket or sausage or pulled pork or ribs or whatever. Hold up, leftover brisket? What's that? <laughs> uh, as my man Kawhi Leonard would say. <laughs> well, today I'm gonna show you a very quick and easy brunch dish that you can do with leftover brisket. All right, so would that be brisket Benedict or briskets Benedict? Like eggs and Benedict. You get it. You with it? Let's get it. So this is what uh, we're going to accomplish here at the end of this uh, cook, guys. And here's the ingredients scrolling by. So feel free to uh, freeze or back up and take a look at that list if you like. Uh, but what we're going to do first is get ready to do this poached egg. So we're going to bring some water to a boil here. And we're going to bring it down just a little bit so it's not a rolling boil. Just so it's just kind of bubbling just slightly. And we're going to scrape the bottom of the uh, pot to get rid of the bubbles there. You don't want that to interfere with your uh, egg when we get it dropped in here. So we're going to take one egg and I'm just going to crack it and put it into a ramekin. Have it ready to go into our, uh, our hot water here. And so that's what I'm doing. One egg cracked, ready to go. So uh, next up now we got our water simmering there a little bit to uh, get this egg poached. We're going to put in here probably about a tablespoon and a half of uh, white vinegar. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and kind of mix that around and uh, we're going to create a vortex in this water here Just kind of a circular motion and uh, that's going to help you form this poached egg So as we got our little uh, vortex going we're going to gently pour our egg right into the center of this vortex And just kind of let everything come together the circular motion just kind of makes the egg whites wrap back around itself and uh, basically we're going to let this thing sit here in this water and it's probably going to sit in here for about five to six minutes or so. About five to six minutes we'll have this egg completely poached the way we want and uh, we'll be ready to go. So I'm just kind of gently swirling around there to continue that vortex a little bit just to continue to get the eggs wrapped around itself a little bit. And I probably got the pot just a little hotter than I needed to be here. Uh, you probably want to turn it down just a little bit more than I did here. You don't want the bubbles to create there at the bottom. You just want that nice hot water there. So that's what we're looking for. So while this is uh, going away here in this, uh, this hot water for the next five to six minutes, let's get our hollandaise sauce together. And so what we're going to do here to get our hollandaise sauce together is we're going to crack three eggs and separate them because we want the egg yolks. We don't want the whites in this hollandaise sauce. We want just the yolks. So that's what I'm doing here is separating these egg yolks. Don't you, I haven't used the egg separator here, so I just use the shells. And so uh, again, I'm just going to set these uh, three egg yolks aside in another ramekin. Okay, so dog pound. Now we got our egg yolks uh, here set aside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my uh, Ninja one serving mixer cup to put my egg yolks in. That's what I'm gonna create this holiday sauce in. So I've got my egg yolks in. I'm pouring in here about a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. And I'm probably going to put in here about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of uh, sriracha. That's that diamondback uh, sriracha. It's got a little cumin in it, so it kicks up on a little bit of the Texas flavors here. So my wife likes it, so that's what I'm doing with it. So anyway, I'm going to use this little stick blender here, and, and uh, I'm going to mix this thing up. 
So we're going to whip these eggs together with uh, the sriracha and the lemon juice here. We're going to let it go for a little while just to get it, you know, nice and, nice and mixed up here. You going to whip these eggs together really well. And I probably, uh, I probably whip these eggs together here for uh, probably about a minute, minute and a half or so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly drizzle in our uh, melted butter. We're going to stream some of that butter in there and we're going to go ahead and stop and keep mixing, keep mixing. Because you don't want hot butter to get in there and cook your eggs. You want to do it kind of slow. This butter I kind of let sit sit to the side a little bit cool off just a little bit so I wasn't too super concerned about it but um, yeah if you got it your butter hotter you just want to stream it in slower guys and just kind of stream it in keep it mixing keep it going this is a quick easy way to make hollandaise sauce so we're gonna get the rest of this butter put in here and uh, keep this thing mixing together and get this hollandaise sauce uh, set to the side And again, you guys can season that up any kind of way you want to. Again, I just went with lemon juice and uh, my uh, Diamondback Sriracha sauce. And that was it. And so there you have it. Our hollandaise sauce is ready to go. Okay, so back to our poached egg. We're ready to... Uh, pull this egg out of this water here and so we're going to introduce it into an ice bath and uh, what that's going to do is stop the cooking process so we don't get the egg yolk too firm we want it to be uh, you know uh, I don't like it too runny but we, do, we don't want it to be solid we want it to be kind of liquidy so we're going to put it in this ice bath and set it to the side and uh, let it just uh, hang out there and we're going to reserve that water guys do not pour it, pour it out you might need it later I'll show you here in a little bit so here we're gonna get the English muffin ready I sliced that muffin in half and we just kind of melted some butter there in a in a frying pan and we're just gonna let this uh, English muffin toast away in this butter that's that goodness right there guys so now we got this English muffin toasted the way we wanted in the butter and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a slice of uh, Canadian bacon there I'm not going to fry the Canadian bacon, you know, too hard or whatever, but we're just going to heat it through and uh, let some of that hot butter hit it and get it on both sides. And so that's what we're doing here. And so now we're going to pull this Canadian bacon out, set it to the side. And now, guys, it's time to go ahead and construct this brisket benedict. So... We've uh, got our little uh, plate here. We're going to go ahead and put this toasted English muffin on it. And uh, <laughs> we're going to place this Canadian bacon on there. And now comes the star of the show, guys. Again, I had some leftover brisket. Went to go visit my uh, buddy's restaurant there in uh, Pflugerville. Old brother, there's Black Iron Barbecue. And, uh, you know, him and my man Randy Estrada over there hooked me up with this brisket. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, so good stuff over there but uh, hey I had some extra brisket left over so uh, hey why not make some brisket Benedict right so we're gonna lay some brisket on there and you know what we would stop there normally but we're in Texas man we do everything big so we're gonna use the whole slice so we're gonna go ahead and stack the second half of that slice on there And now what you do with the egg is you actually put the egg back in your hot water to heat it back through just for a few seconds. And then we come and place it onto our uh, brisket there. And now we're going to put some uh, hollandaise sauce on it. And here's a tip. When you set that hollandaise sauce to the side, if it cools off a little too much for you and it feels a little more uh, solid, all you got to do, guys, is just uh, add a couple of tablespoons of that uh, hot water in there and mix it through. And uh, you're ready to go. So just like that, guys, we got our uh, brisket Benedict constructed. We're going to garnish it with the uh, green onions. And hey, man, that's a wrap. Just that quick, simple. It's done. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Brisket Benedict. The Dogfather's Barbecue Style. Peace.